Hi, if you're a violin teacher or a parent of a young violinist, let's have a little bit of fun with our bunnies. So you might have started your bunny here as your bow hold exercise, it's a preparatory exercise, but did you know that your bunny can flip? You can just go up like that? This is excellent mind-body training here. We're really trying to wire the circuitry so that when we do something as complex as actually play our instruments, we have some patterns and some circuits already connected. So let's go back again. We've got our bunnies and we can flip them. And if you're really feeling fancy, give your bunny a twin and just do two of those together. And if you're really feeling like, hey, that's too easy, Join me in a little variation, one and three, two and four, one and three, and two and four. Of course, we can, oh, how do I do that? Put two hands together there. And then the ultimate, right? A little drum roll here. The ultimate is can you put both of those together? So we'll do one and three and two and four in one hand and a bunny flip in the other. I'll stop there because that's pretty complicated stuff, but your students will love this. They don't need to have their violin up to do it. You can say, hey, this is your red light assignment. Every time you're at a red light or a stop sign, I want you to do your bunny flips. And they love it. They feel proud. It really gives them something to feel good about and will directly impact their playing in the positive. Thank you so much. I would love to give you more inspiration, more ideas to help you bring out the best in your music making. So join me at www.music for young violinists. I give away free music. I have a whole page of free freebies and a free packet if you sign up for my newsletter. How good is that? So join me and we hope to see you in another video. Thank you so much.